Abdominal bracing. We'll have you bend your knees up. Bring your belly button down to your spine and hold for five seconds. You can kind of feel along the sides of your belly to feel those abdominals engaging. And we'll do it 10 times. Really breathing out, pulling the belly button down. Your back should be flat on the mat when you're doing this. Good. Pulling down. And again, repeat this 10 times and then you can relax. We are going to do a quad set. So you'll need a towel roll, this is a hand towel, roll it up or a blanket and you're going to place it underneath of your knee and straighten your leg. There we go. You're gonna press down into the towel roll, holding for five seconds, really engaging your quad, pressing down, hold five and then you will relax and repeat about 10 times. You should really feel your quadriceps engaging Good. We are going to do a glute set to keep those glutes engaged while we're not walking around as much. So we'll have you squeeze your glutes together. Again, holding for five seconds, just squeezing, relax, and we'll repeat this 10 times. Good. Short arc quad. We're gonna place a ball, some pillows, something that has some bulk to it behind the knee. You're gonna rest your thigh on the knee and then you're going to lift your foot up, engaging the quad. Hold up there for five seconds and then relax it down. We'll repeat this 10 times. Good. Just slow and controlled when you go through this, no rush. A straight leg raise. We're going to bend your uninvolved leg. For this one, we're really gonna to try to contract the quad and keep the knee straight, kind of pressing down. And then we're going to lift the entire leg up about to the height of your other leg. And then low and slow back down. Good. And we're gonna repeat this 10 times. Perfect. Now we're going to do a hip abduction isometric hold. So if you have a belt at home or even a dog leash to wrap around and kind of hold, we'll place that around your knees. Why do you bend up your knees for me? Strap it tight so it's about, your knees are about hip width apart. Then you're going to press out into the belt Holding for five seconds, you should feel it in your hips. And then you relax and you repeat that 10 times. Just an equal gentle pressure going outwards, not trying to break the belt at all. Next, we're going to do a ball squeeze. So we'll have you bend up your knees. A ball, if you don't have a ball at home, you can use a pillow, placing it between the knees. You're gonna squeeze your legs together, holding for five seconds, and then repeat this 10 times. Again, not trying to break the ball, just a gentle pressure of just a little hold in the middle. Now we're going to go over a dead bug progression. So this one's a good one for your abdominals to keep them engaged throughout this process. So we will bend up your knees and feet off the mat and then lift them all the way up. And then our arms will go straight in the air as well. Holding there, keeping your back flat on the mat, making sure it's not arching at all. Now we will extend one arm backwards, keeping that back nice and flat, bringing it back up. And then we will do the alternate arm. Good. And we can do about 20 total, so 10 each arm, making sure we're keeping that back nice and flat on the mat. Perfect. If this feels easy for you and you would like a progression, we'll add in the legs. So your arms will be straight up and we'll extend opposite leg, opposite arm, tapping your heel down on the mat and then coming back up. Again, it's very important that you keep your back nice and flat on the, on the ground or on the mat, wherever you're laying. Perfect. 
We are now going to do a long arc quad. So sitting on the edge of a couch, a chair, something where your feet can hang down. And we are going to straighten that injured leg, really engaging that quad muscle, contracting it nice and strong. Hold it for five seconds and then lower it back down. And we're going to repeat this 10 times. Side lying hip abduction. We are going to have you bend your bottom leg. Perfect. Keeping the hips nice and stacked, not going forwards or backwards. We're gonna keep this leg straight and lift it up, straight in the air. Good, and then lower it back down, nice and slow. Lifting it up. You should really be feeling it in your glute back here. Trying to make sure you're, lit, you're not rotating backwards or forwards, staying right, nice and stacked. Up and down, let's do 10. Now we're gonna go over some tips of how to transfer from a chair up into the standing position. So you'll put your walker in front of you, putting no weight through that surgical foot. You're gonna to scoot towards the edge of your chair, bring back the non-surgical foot, placing one hand on the chair and one on the walker. You're gonna stand up by leaning forwards, not getting the walker too far in front of you so it doesn't slide away and standing straight on up. 